So here we've got a National Simplex 84 commercial mower. Used to have a, several real mowers coming out the sides and the back, possibly used for something like a golf course or large property maintenance. Uh, previous owner has stripped it down to what you see here. No motor, no mowers. Made a few modifications to it. My plan is to take this and turn it into my next pedal-powered vehicle, similar to the pedal-powered bicycle plow I built last year. The reason I was looking for this type of tractor is because I was hoping to get something with a forward and reverse transaxle. This thing has one gear forward, neutral, and then reverse. Has a nice disc brake on there, which you can put as a parking brake or use the foot pedal near the front, which I probably won't need since I'll have bicycle pedals on this thing and I'll have to make a hand lever to control the brake if I want to use it while I'm moving. But uh, the other major feature that I was really looking for was this nice thin tubular frame, which will allow me to put a bicycle bottom bracket down where these foot rests are now, after I cut them off, and give me plenty of room once I've stripped the rest of the parts off that I don't need to have a uh, have a pedal system with bicycle gears. I'll take off that pulley system and pulley guard on the other side and then the gears might still use the jack shaft I'm not sure but the gears bicycle gears will then go and connect to the pulley on the back of the transaxle that way I can always pedal forwards and shift into forward or reverse if I need to go forward or back up. On my previous pedal powered plows I had to weld the bicycle gear shut in order to have reverse which only gave me one gear. So this was a way for me to have a multi-geared vehicle while also having forward and reverse. This thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was from the pictures I saw in the Facebook marketplace ad but once I get all the parts stripped off of it, it's really just a couple of pieces of channel, some axles, and the transaxle. So it shouldn't be too heavy. Uh, in fact, having a little weight is good for plowing because it gives you the traction that you need to, in order to push. There's some sort of bumper brush guard on the front. I believe this was the original piece. I'm probably going to remove that. And there's so much room on the front of this where the gas tank is and where the motor used to be and the jack shaft is that I think I'm going to be able to put a little dump body on the front of this thing, something like a large wheelbarrow that I could operate from sitting in the seat. Uh, on the back, we have the lift mechanism from the original mower deck that used to hang off the back here. Uh, previous owner has welded that shut to turn it into a trailer hitch, but I have the original lever for raising and lowering it, so I think I'm going to return this to something akin to a three-point hitch that I could be using to um, raise and lower attachments, maybe a rake for grading the driveway, or some forks for lifting stones when I'm building stone walls. But uh, I'm pretty hopeful that this thing is the right machine for the job, even though it's kind of a beefy, large machine to be pedaling around. I've got a nice small flat piece of property and that really the main purpose for me building this thing is so that I'm not lifting with my back. I can do all the lifting with my pedals and some levers and uh, we'll see how it goes. Next step is to strip this thing down to its bare chassis, seat and transaxle and uh, start planning the, uh, the gearing and other parts that I need to operate all the uh, implements that I want. Uh, stay tuned. Bye.